All right, so in the introduction, we left off with this samples. So um, now we'll learn how to make them. Uh, so let's start off on a new scene. Don't need to save that. Um, so here we are in our new scene. So let's start off by creating, let's create a ball. So uh, just go create sphere um, uh, uh, it's too complicated let's go to create sphere there now it's centered and I can bring it out here and all in all this camera doesn't really matter because we can see it in the viewport so I need uh, one of my doors so let's say I went into Maya or Max or Blender or whatever and I have these doors exported and I just drag them in so uh, let's bring it down a little bit. There we go. So I have these these doors that I created, and uh, there's nothing attached, just uh, animation which we don't really need that just came from the FBX. Um, so let's first off make our sphere a rigid body, as we need rigid bodies in order to communicate with the triggers um, so uh, let's add the rigid body to the sphere and let's just make it kinematic because we're gonna drag it around it doesn't need to simulate any physics alright so we have our door set up in our sphere so our door we have two panels uh, we'll name our door stuff real quick so we can see. And I'll call this side, side, uh, top. I'll call this door center because the pivot point is on the center. And then I'll call this one, this one door uh, custom because I, inside of uh, my 3D package, I made the pivot point on the side of the door. So that's to show that you can use your own custom pivot points rather than just the the dimensions of the mesh. So let's go off with this door first. Let's add our script to it. We can just drag it over here. And you'll see this white line. This white line is telling you this is where the hinge is at. It starts off on open left, but this can be changed to open right, so it'll open up on the right hand side. Uh, open front, so it'll open at the front of the mesh and open back which will open at the back of the mesh so apparently uh, I have this thing flipped around and this is the front over here on this side but we'll forget about that for now it doesn't really matter um, so I'm going to go back to left because this is where the hinge would be and let's go over a couple options so we uh, we have draw gizmos that'll draw the gizmos you don't want a bunch of gizmos sitting around inside of your viewport when you're done making your door Locked is a custom feature to lock the door where you can't open it even when objects enter it. And this is for scripting, so later on if you want to get this door and tell it to unlock if you have a key, then that can be done. You can unlock it. It's public. Uh, the open only I discussed in the first one, it just means that it will open and it will never close. And so you enter and as soon as you enter it fires off open and it just keeps opening until it's all the way open. Once it's all the way open it never closes. Uh, open speed, this is how fast the door opens, so uh, it's an arbitrary number, this isn't, isn't in seconds or anything. So if I put it to 3, it would open somewhat fast. Um, in the first one, they were all to like 0 0.65, so they're kind of slow. Uh, movement, and in this one, we kind of just went over uh, the movement showing that gizmo, but uh, we have this option, use model's origin, which is the center here, that's why it would jump to the center if we check that which we don't want on this one. We have uh, we have it set to open left because we want it on the left hand side of the door. And opened Y rotation. This is the amount of rotation that you want it to be at. And we and this is in degrees. So 90 degrees means it will open up 90 degrees and it will uh, be perpendicular to what it is currently. And the closed rotation is usually what you, you just want to pick the Y that you have up here, which mine is at zero. So this one should be at zero. Um, so uh, there's the Y rotation. Now, uh, 
this next one interact with this is telling the door what it will interact how open there's three options a specific game object is one that you would choose so if I click game object and I wanted it just to interact with the sphere I would drag the sphere into the required game object field and now it will open when the sphere inter enters it uh, I'm gonna set that back to none for now then there's the script type and then there is any so script type means that th the door can only enter if the object contains this script so if this sphere had a had a script on it called player or enemy or uh, friend you can type that script name in here friend and it'll open up only to friends and it won't open to anything but objects that have the script friend on it and that comes from a hierarchy based system so if you if uh, you're running around with um, blue friend and he's derived from friend it'll still get interacted with and you don't have to type blue friend here you can type friend and it'll open for all of its children uh, range before open this you'll see now a sphere pops up this shows us uh, this is the sphere that when entered will make the door open or close when exited and you can adjust the size here there's also an offset which is here which will offset this on uh, any of the three axes and uh, that's for if your door you'll see we'll use it we'll use it in the right hand on this other door which has its own custom pivot so for now it'll be at zero because it's nice and it's at center in fact we won't even put it at zero we'll move it off to the center of both doors which sounds like a great idea and uh, let's move our sphere back he's already in there so now if you see if we turn off draw gizmos it'll turn off the sphere as well so uh, we'll change this to any for now and now we're on sound effects these are the sound effects that get fired when it's being interacted with so there's an opening sound a fully open sound so when it's finished opening it will execute this sound closing so on it's on its way closing and fully closed when it has finished its closing cycle so with that already we're able to um, hit play and grab our sphere and there we go it opens up this way which is probably not the way we want it to open um, so if I wanted it to open the other way which is it looks like the it'll uh, it's opening for the sphere I could put negative 90 here so it goes to the negative 90 there we go it's opening the correct way uh, I don't know how long this video is, so I will end here and start on the next door in the next video.